Now this draw is stacked, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Get Energy. Welcome to the first round picks of the U.S. Open. This is the earliest I've done this, guys. Like the video, show some love. Hit the super thanks if you want. We're going to start at the bottom here. Big game Jesse P taking on big game Shelby Rogers. Where has Shelby been? I mean, she got her college degree, and now she's a working woman. But listen, she's back balling. I love her backhand, but she hasn't been active. So I'll take Pigula to get the victory here. Jasmine Polini, a.k.a. Lotto Italy, taking on BB on the beat. I'm telling you, they give these former Grand Slam champions the toughest matchups in the first round. I mean... I got to take Jasmine to get the victory here. BB hasn't been that active. Even though she's got what it takes, I think Jasmine's in better form. I like Polini to win outright. Naomi Osaka taking on another Grand Slam champion. Yelena Osipenko, this is going to be a tough match. They put these ladies right in Iga's draw. Iga's got another tough, tough task here. Oh, this is a tough one, guys. And I'm going to go with a total that's right ladies and gentlemen we're going to take this match over 19 and a half games that's the pick i think both ladies are going to hold both ladies are going to play super duper tough yelena's going to dish it but the question is can she take it 19 over 19 and a half over i think the fans are going to have a treat here this is going to be a very good match i can't wait to watch it and cover it Iga, big bad Iga taking on Camilla Rakimova, the lucky loser. Listen, it seems like Camilla just can't come through qualifiers. And I've made her somewhat of a household name, but I don't know if if her game I don't know if her game is there yet. I mean, well, let me put it this way. The reality here is Camilla's a good player. She shouldn't have to she shouldn't have to go through qualifiers to make these slams. She should be inside the top one hundred. She is that good. But it happens. Injuries happen. You know, dips in your level happen. And she's lucky to have a lucky loser spot here. But it's not going to be easy. I like Igas Fiontek to get the victory here in straight sets. But how far will Igas Fiontek go? Will she go past the round of 32, the round of 16? Will she make it to the quarterfinals, the semifinal? Will she win the U.S. Open again? Right now, guys, the form on tour, it's, it's just bad. It's just so bad right now. And I think all of the ladies are screaming out the changes that need to be made on the tour. They do not like the fact that the tour is so long and grueling. Igis Fiontek said this recently. Nothing good's going to happen. Elena, we're back, and I said it in the past. Nothing good is going to happen. Players are going to continue to get injured. These are young ladies, but I also think the X factor is you're going to have ladies trying to keep up with the schedule, not only injuring themselves, but possibly do, take, doing a Simona Halep, trying to go under the radar using PEDs. I, these are ladies. Their bodies aren't made for this. I don't know, guys, but nonetheless, will Igas Fiontek Go deep in this tournament. Go check out that poll in the community. I would love to hear your feedback. I think she beats Camilla Rakimova in straight sets. Those are the picks, guys, for the first round. Enjoy. Like the video. Stay tuned. I want to talk about some tennis topics that are pretty darn juicy. We'll be right back.